All right, Shalom, Akim, Shalom. Hey, y'all about Shemal Shai, Brock Thumb. To my dear brothers out there, little my sisters, worshiping the Heavenly Father in spirit and in truth. Our praises to Yahweh, by Shim, Yahweh Shai, and the bonds to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. All right, welcome back to another inspiration of the Almighty. And the title of this one is going to be the first part of a three part series. Matter of fact, the title of the first one is going to be What Happened to the Two Kingdoms of Israel? And as you just heard me speak, this would be a three-part series. Um, well, I would talk about what happened to the two kingdoms of Israel, the southern and the northern kingdom. All right. Now, the the first part, we're going to focus on how um, the two kingdoms went off with the Heavenly Father. They start breaking the statute of laws and commandments and how it led to a split. And then in the second series... Um, we're going to talk about how the two kingdoms were removed and how they met up in America. Okay. And then the third series, we're going to, on the third and final one, we're going to talk about how the Lord is reconciled. He, he has reconciled and he's in the middle of reconciling the two kingdoms and how the two kingdoms will be brought back together. And um, you're going to have to bear with me because I got a, a lot of other, my daily lessons I do. So I'm going to try to squeeze this ones, these ones in there. But the Spirit of the Lord is on me to give like a, a, a history of how the two kingdoms split up of the nation of Israel. All right. So what we do have here first is the 12 tribes chart. Who are the two kingdoms? Um, well, the 12 tribes are Judah, which is Negroes. Benjamin is West Indians. Hasians is the Levi. Simeon is the Dominican, Zebulon is the Central Americans, Ephraim is the Puerto Ricans, Manasseh is the Cubans, Gad is the North American Indians, Reuben is the Seminole Indians, Naphtali is the uh, Argentina to Chile and South America, Asher is the Colombians to Uruguay, the Brazilians in South America, and Issachar is the so-called Mexicans. That makes up the 12 tribes of Israel. The southern kingdom consists of Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. That's the southern kingdom and all the rest of the tribes consist of the northern kingdom. How will we split? As you can see today, the Negro, Latino and Native American man, there's a division between all of us. OK, and you see a reconciliation or a gathering back together of the elect of the Negro, Latino, Native Americans. We're coming back together, but predominantly as, as a nation in this whole, we're split. You see? But the Lord is going to bring us back together. And it was all according to prophecies why we split. And it's according to prophecy how we will be brought back together. How we were split, how we were removed. And then how we'll be brought back together. So when Moses was, when we came out of the land of Egypt and the Lord delivered us by the hands of Moses. The Lord gave to Moses the statute laws and commandments to give to the children of Israel. <laughs> As, as a whole, all 12 tribes made a covenant with the Lord that they would do everything that the Lord has commanded them to do. And they made a pact by blood. Okay. Now, Moses also prophesied to them and spoke prophecies concerning them because Moses was a prophet as well. So one of the many things that Moses spoke on to them is things that would happen after Moses died. What would, what would occur after the Moses went back up to the father? What will, what will befall the, the, the Israelites? Okay, so um, we went against the, the we went against our God. We went against his statute laws and commandments, the pact that we made with him. And Moses told us that evil will befall us. He knew once he once Moses died, he knew that Israel will go astray. Now we jump to Deuteronomy 31 to 14, it says, And the Lord said unto Moses, Behold, the days approach that Thou must die. Call Joshua and present yourselves in the tabernacle of the congregation that I may give him a charge. And Moses and Joshua went and presented themselves in the tabernacle of the congregation. And the Lord appeared in the tabernacle in a pillar of a cloud and a pillar of a cloud stood over the door of the tabernacle. So the Lord appeared to Joshua and Moses in a chariot. All right. What the world ignorantly calls a UFO. That's what. The pillar of a cloud was it was a chariot okay of the heavenly father it says and the lord said unto moses behold thou shalt sleep with thy fathers 
And this people will rise up and go a whoring after gods of the strangers of the land, whether they go to be among them and will forsake me and break my covenant, which I have made with them. Then my anger shall be kindled against them in that day, and I will forsake them and hide my face from them, and they shall be devoured, and many evils and troubles shall befall them, so that they will say in that day, Are not these evils come upon us, because our God is not amongst us? So you see here that the Heavenly Father told Moses, once he go back up to the spiritual world, that um, the Israelites will go astray. They'll go astray. And evils will befall them. Befall them. And one of the evils that befell the, the, the nation of Israel is that the two kingdoms was going to be split. So you see that it said this people will rise up and go in a whoring after other gods. So because of our disobedience towards the Heavenly Father and His beloved Son, the Heavenly Father split us in half. He caused that division between the Negroes, the Latinos, and the Natives. All of us is split, you know. The southern and the northern kingdom is split. You see? So, we know the, the Deuteronomy 28 and 15, but there's a precept that speaks about it in Leviticus 26 and 14. It says, but if you will not hearken unto me and will not do all these commandments, if you shall despise my statutes, or if your soul abhor my judgment so that you will not do all my commandments, but that break... But that ye break my commandments, I will also do this unto you. And we know that the rest of Leviticus 26 gives a list of the curses. The same thing in Deuteronomy 28 and 15 on down. It gives you a list of the different things that the Lord would do because we went against him. And Moses prophesied before he died that we were going to go a whoring. We were going to go against the, co the covenant by blood that we made, we will go against it. So when you go into the list of Deuteronomy 28 and 54, 28 and 15, you go to the list of it and you go to verse 54, excuse me. It says, so that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes should be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the revenue of his children, which he shall leave. So. We know that we was going to go a whoring after Moses died, um, after other gods. The Lord said, if we go against, if we break the covenant, he's going to do this list of things on us. One of the list of things that was done to us is that our eye will be evil toward our brother, meaning our minds, your brain. And that's a part of the reason why the split happened is because... Our minds became evil one toward another. Now, when you look up, when you check out Deuteronomy 28 and you look up the word evil right there, it goes back to the Hebrew word ayan. And it says, I, I, physical I, as showing mental qualities, a mental or spiritual faculties. So the I also represents um, your brain It could be talking about an eye in certain verses But sometimes it's talking about your brain Because your eye itself cannot be evil You see Your eye is the, the, the You know the organ that's used To see But you use your eye and you see things And your mind thinks evil Or it could think good So our eye gonna become evil Our brain Our mental faculties Toward each other will become evil And that's the reason why you see and We live in the same neighborhoods But we don't get along You have the blacks versus the Mexicans The Mexicans versus the Salvadorians It's just It's a lot of splitting going on The, 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 the southern kingdom versus the northern kingdom Because of one of the penalties For breaking the statute laws and commandments Was that our eye would be evil Towards our brother So our mental faculties and spirituality will be evil towards your fellow brothers. And that's what has befallen us. And that's why we're split to this day. Because of a, of a curse. Now that's when you look up I. You find out that definition. But when you look up evil. It goes back to the Hebrew word. Ra'aya. And it says. To be evil. 
displeasing and injurious. Injurious mean to cause harm. We cause harm to each other. All in the neighborhoods dealing with game banging and selling drugs and even amongst ourselves, we're evil to each other. We sell drugs to each other. We kill each other. So our mind going to be evil. It's going to be hurtful. You know, you know, when you go into certain neighborhoods, you feel real uncomfortable because you don't know what type of harm that your brother in that neighborhood will cause. Whether you're going into a, 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 a Northern Kingdom neighborhood, the Latino speaking tribes, Native American tribes, or you're going to a Negro neighborhood. You don't know. Because their eye is evil. You don't know if they're going to hurt you or not. You always have that feeling. Well, that was a part of the curse. Now it says to injury, to hurt, to do wickedly. And when you look at the lexicon, when you look at the lexicon, it says to make evil, to make their actions evil. Also to do evil, to do ill. You have done ill. That which you have done. To act wickedly. So... Our eyes, our minds will be acting wickedly towards each other, doing evil to each other, injurious to each other. And that's, that's what's going on currently today. And that's what the curse has pushed on us. So we've, we've been cursed to do evil to each other because of us breaking the statute laws and commandments. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. That's why the Negro, Latino, and Native American men do not get along today. You go into the jail system. They split in there. And they're, they're fighting each other in there. And they even after they're being penalized from society, they're still fighting in there because it's a curse. These different gang groups. You know, the MS-13 is the 18th streets versus the neighborhood crips and the Inglewood family bloods and in all over the United States, it's the same actions. You go down to Mexico, they they kidnapping you and got those mafias going. If you're a Negro man and you down there and you don't know what you're doing, they're gonna kidnap you and hold you for ransom. So it's all of a curse to the twelve tribes. And this is the cause. This this was caused by the Lord because he was gonna split us. It was his determination to split us. So you can see that the Heavenly Father's plan was a part of it was to show you that, look, when you're not following my statute laws and commandments, you're, you're going to be evil to yourself. You're going to be evil to your own brother, which is your own self. That's your kinsman, your flesh and blood. You're going to be evil to yourself. So the Lord is showing us what evil looks like. How does it feel to have your brother not on your same team, but against you? So now we feel it. We feel what it feels like to have your brother against you and it's not good. So now we know that, look, we need to do the right thing and we'll we'll be able to reconcile with our brother and, and see the love that come from your brother. So let's go right here now to the book of Kings where the prophecy of the Lord said he was split. He's going to split us. And he did. All right. He already made it to our eye will be evil to each other because we went off. So now it made it more easier to split us. And this is all showing us what evil looks like. That's the whole purpose. This is the from the this is from the book of Kings dealing with the prophet Ahijah. First Kings 11 and 29, it says, And it came to pass at that time when Jeroboam went out to Jerusalem, that the prophet Ahijah, the Sholonite, found him in the way, and he had clad himself a new garment. They were they too were alone in the field. Now, if you know about Jeroboam, he was the first king that was that reigned over the northern kingdom of Israel. OK, he was the first king when the split happened. The first split when the first split, Jeroboam became the first king over the northern kingdom. But prior to that, the king was King David. OK, and the king came out of the uh, tribe of Judah, which is the head tribe, the Negroes and the house of David. All right, which is consistent within the southern kingdom. So the heavenly father had Jeroboam walking in the field and the prophet Ahijah caught him and Jeroboam had on a new garment. 
And they two were alone. It says, and he said unto Jeroboam, take thee ten pieces, for thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel. Behold, I will rend the kingdom out of Solomon and will give thee ten tribes unto thee. So we know that King David's son Solomon reigned after him. So during the reign of Solomon, Jeroboam became king. Uh, he was told he would be king over the northern kingdom. So the prophet Ahijah told him, look, you finna have 10 tribes and the rest of the tribes would be uh, with, the, with the southern kingdom. So the Lord telling you there was going to be a split there. It says, but he, it says, but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which he have chosen out of all the tribes of Israel. So when it said one tribe, it's talking about Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, not literally just the tribe of Judah. Judah, Benjamin, and Levi makes up the southern kingdom. So the southern kingdom will be Judah, Benjamin, and Levi, and then the rest of the ten tribes will be the other which will, uh, the other rest of the ten tribes will make up the northern kingdom. Okay? It says, um, it says, but he shall have one tribe for my servant David's sake and for Jerusalem's sake, the city which I have chosen are all the tribes of Israel, because that they have forsaken me and have worshipped Ashtaroth, the gods of Zidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabites, Milcom, Melcom, the god of the children of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in my eyes, to keep my statutes and my judgments, as did David his father. So you see, the reason why the Lord split us is because we were worshiping other gods. So the southern and the northern kingdom got split up from each other. You see? Now, that's what the prophet Ahijah told Jeroboam, the first king over the northern kingdom, that the Lord would give Jeroboam the northern kingdom in Solomon and David, the cows of David, the southern kingdom would keep Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. So that's the split right there. That was the prophecy of the split. Now, when the split was first um, happening, when things were first going down, the southern kingdom under Rehoboam, Solomon's son, he said, no, nah, we're not going to let none split. All the tribes belong together in, under the house of David. Under the southern kingdom, Judah, house of David. And they was going to go to war with each other to try to bring the tribes all back together. But let's see what happens. We jump to 1 Kings 12 and 20. It says, And it came to pass when all Israel heard that Jeroboam was come again, that they sent and called unto him the congregation and made him king over all Israel. There was none that followed the house of David but the tribe of Judah only, the southern kingdom. When it said the tribe of Judah only. It says, and when Rehoboam was come to Jerusalem, he assembled all the house of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin, a hundred and four score thousand chosen men, which were warriors to fight against the house of Israel, the northern kingdom, to bring the kingdom again to Rehoboam, the son of Solomon. So he wanted to reunite the kingdoms again. But remember, the Lord had Ahijah the prophet say that it would be split. So it goes on further to say, but the word of the Lord came to Shemaiah, Shem, Shem, the man of God, saying, speak unto Rehoboam, the son of Solomon, king of Judah, and unto all the house of Judah and Benjamin, and to the remnant of the people, saying, thus saith the Lord, ye shall not go up nor fight against your brother and the children of Israel, the northern kingdom. Return every man to his house, for this thing is from me. They hearkened, therefore, to the word of the Lord and returned to depart according to the word of the Lord. So even when they tried to reunite the kingdom again, the Lord had the prophet Shemaiah come and say, no, do not war because this is from me. The Lord wanted the kingdoms to be split. It was the Lord's purpose. It was to show us what evil looks like. How does it feel to not have your brother on your side? You know? And still to this very day, we're split, but we're reuniting the remnant of us, the ones that's coming back to the Lord. They're reuniting again. 
And this is the time where the Lord wants us to come back together. But nonetheless, throughout history, the Lord wanted it to be split. And it did split. The southern and the northern kingdom did split. And still to this day, that's the reason why the Negro, Latino, Native Americans don't get along with each other. Because it was the a determination of the Lord to show us evilness, to, to show you, look, when you break my statute of laws and commandments, your brother's eye going to be evil towards you. You're going to see how wickedness feels. You're going to see how you feel to not have your brother on your side, man. So now we're not aware in the understanding of this. We're trying to do that, which is right before our Lord. And you see the remnant of the nation of Israel, the brother that the Lord is waking up, coming together. So this has been part one. And I'm going to uh, return and, and do part two whenever the Lord put the spirit back on me. So you brothers and sisters, hope you was edified through the spirit and power. Y'all by Shemal Shai, throughout the Akin for staying, coming through. Y'all by Shemal Shai, Baka Thumb. Shalom.